Hello, my name is Caitlin Johnson and my life is not as perfect as one may think. This video started off as being a super productive day in my life of me getting my whole entire life together by going to the gym, getting everything done and checked off my list. But in tragic events, I ended up dealing with my anxiety and I was having a pretty low day. Instead of just ending the video and not posting it, I decided to vlog through it. So here is how I deal with my anxiety and what my life is actually like on a normal basis. Alexa, off. Oh my gosh, I am literally so tired today. <sighs> um, 9.15. I have so much to do today. It's embarrassing. First of all, I am gonna go to the gym. That's my first tackle. And then, okay, I made a list. I don't know why I'm trying to think of this. Gym. I have to get a car wash. I have to come home. I have to get ready and I have to film a car tour. And then I have to start packing for college. And then I have work at 5.15. I literally can't do this today. I also got a haircut yesterday. I got these things put in my hair. My room is an actual mess because I haven't cleaned it since I'm going to college. To put this into perspective, I leave in six days and I have not started packing. That's not good, I need to pack. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today, but who knows if I'll actually do it. My goal is to start with the jewelry. I also have these pimple patches on that I need to take off. I just got like massive pimples on my face out of nowhere. Mm, that didn't do anything, it's still red as ever, whatever. I also have to take back. <laughs> Take back or return to the UPS store. I got something from Amazon. The guys like my hair. Got my roots touched up and then I got these cut. And then I got a little bit of a trim. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready for the gym. Okay, I just got dressed. When I said that my room was a mess, I literally meant it. Literally, oh, this is so embarrassing. My mom's gonna kill me for putting this on YouTube. But like, this is reality, okay? This is my outfit for the gym. Very basic. I just have this airy offline sports bra on. And then I've got the offline crisscross airy leggings on. Before I go, I always brush out my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So I'm just gonna literally do that real quick. I woke up with another pimple. Guys, I literally don't know what's going on. I have acne medication and all of a sudden, it's just not been working. It's right after I had my dermatologist appointment to check up on my skin. And then right when I left that freaking place with like clear skin, not a single blemish, I get three full freaking freaking pimples. When I have acne, it's so painful. Another thing with my medication, it dries out the sides of my- oh, four. Four. But it dries out the sides of my lips so bad. And if y'all have ever experienced this, y'all know that it hurts. If anyone has like any tips for fixing this thingy on me, I really need it. Really need those tips. Like as of yesterday, I needed those tips. It hurts so bad, bro. It looks like I have like a disease. Dude, oh my gosh. I gave up with the whole water bottle thing, so I'm just drinking like leftover water and I hope that I have enough. But for what I brought to the gym, obviously I'm bringing my keys. But I have this bag that I'm bringing. It just says cool stuff inside. And I went to a boutique fair that was around my area and it was all woman owned. So it was just a bunch of women's boutiques that they set up and started selling stuff. One of the boutiques gave this as their bag, but I'm just drinking my AirPods. These sunglasses I have to put in my car I also got these at the woman's Oh my god. I also got these at the women's boutique, but here's the thing. I didn't have a mirror and I was too lazy to pull out my phone. So I let my mom tell me if they looked good on me or not and she really set me up for failure on this one, guys. These just do not look good on me. I don't know what she was smoking. Whatever, I'm gonna have to wear them because I paid for them and obviously it's a boutique, I'm not gonna take them back. I'll just wear them. I just thought that'd be funny to show y'all how my mom set me up for complete failure. <laughs> no, cause I actually just parked so embarrassingly. 
But there's absolutely no way that I'm redoing that because someone saw me park this bad and I just feel like it's even more awkward to re-park after you already park bad. I don't know. That's just what my brain thinks. I'm at the gym. My goal today is to work on legs. I'm actually gonna try to work on legs this time. I always tell myself I'm gonna work on legs and then I like literally never do. I'm gonna put my AirPods in before I go in so it's not so awkward when I walk in. I'll see you guys in there. I wanna get to know you, boy. I wanna get to know ya I wanna get to know the boy I wanna get to know ya Ooh, but I ain't got time But I ain't got time No, I ain't got time I ain't got time was a good workout i'm tired there was like people in there and i didn't really want to record around them because they were doing their own thing i don't even know if i want to film my car tour today it is hot out so i don't think i'm going to the weather literally says it feels like 106 outside i am not doing that today and that means i can save a couple extra dollars <sighs> i guess i figured that out i'm gonna go home i'm so tired now love that maintenance required light i have to get that fixed tomorrow tomorrow i go get my oil changed and i get my tires rotated there's just so much to do and i have to go get a new computer tomorrow babies hello hi babies hello 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 before i do anything i have to take my dogs out i take them on a walk every once in a while so today is one of their walk days we're gonna go to what my grandma calls the pooping grounds you want to go outside you want to go outside tiny you guys want to go outside yeah let's go outside come on uh, hi no come here to you oh my gosh hi tiny hi baby whoa there you go i got you ah, there you go baby there you go okay i'm gonna go take them out come on boys There is absolutely no way that I would have filmed that car tour today outside. Look, this is how sweaty I am from walking outside for like, I don't even know, like 10 minutes. Also, I got a package. Ugh. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. The other package that's sitting over there is a dorm desk bookshelf. I don't know what the, this one is though. Um, well, I just got a call from my grandma and I promised that I was gonna eat healthy in this video Like I was so gonna do it. I was but she called me and she asked if I wanted Pizza Hut so now I'm getting a personal pan pizza honestly don't feel bad about it because I'm making my body happy That was a mentality that I did not have before I used to have issues with eating and just stuff like that. Now I'm really focusing on the mentality of I'm feeding my body. My body is the one thing that keeps me going. So I have to feed it and that's okay. It's okay to feed your body. Food is fuel. Maybe not so much like Pizza Hut, but <laughs> food is fuel. I wanted to show you all this because when I was at the boutiques, I got this Midwest honey little sign. Probably gonna put it in my dorm. I don't know. A lot of my videos recently have been about the dorms. In my dorm room hall, the jewelry I was wearing was from a boutique. If I remember, I'll put the boutique's name on the screen. I'm gonna show you guys what else I got from the boutiques because I got a lot of stuff. So this is Made With Love Lauren. I don't, where's your business card? Oh, it's at Made With Love underscore Lauren. And it's Made With Love Lauren dot square dot site. So here's her little business card thing. 
I'm gonna show you the jewelry that I got from her. First, I picked out these cute little earrings. They're just gold with like white background. And then I picked out these little hoops. They're just little brown hearts, just the hoops. Then I got this pack with like a chain gold hoop and some earrings and then I got this for uh, free because I bought those and it's just a stud set but I thought those were really cute. So go shop at Lauren's website. The gold ring that I had on my pointer finger was from this girl. My mom and I got matching ones because it had a nice texture on it. I could play with it which I liked. I don't know what her website was. I'm so sorry. But while we were there, we got little things of lavender. So the Midwest Honey Banner was from Golden Gems. And I also got these two keychains from them. One is just, you are solid gold. And then the other one says, live rude girls. And I love the live rude girls because I can be rude and I like to live like that. And then lastly, from Relish, I got this green tea under eye serum. For now, I'm going to go take a freaking shower. I feel absolutely disgusting. I got out of the shower my hair I need to like straighten these flyaway pieces I didn't wash my hair obviously but I took out the bottom of the braid so now the hair looks like that <sighs> it's time to do my jewelry on prom night we get to like win prizes or whatever I won this big thing wow I just almost pulled that on me I won this and it's just like a jewelry holder and basically I'm bringing it to college with me but the only issue is that I have to pack my jewelry into this so that we can take it and my jewelry's already packed so that's literally just what I'm gonna do right now and this is just some of my main jewelry that I wear like all the time but there's so much more I think what I'm gonna do is put like my main jewelry like my main necklace is here and then like gold and then silver and just fill in everything else let's see how this works I've been doing this for a hot second, but the issue is I don't understand how to put earrings in the earring holder and it's frustrating me a lot. I'm finally done with what I brought over in this, but I just went and I grabbed a bunch more from my other jewelry box. Now I've got a lot more to do, but I've done a lot, which is good. I just am not done yet. I used to be a huge fan of Melanie Martinez. I got her crybaby merch like on my 13th birthday, I think, and I got the necklace. I never wore it, but now that I'm looking back on this, this is, thing is adorable. Like I would so wear this now. How did I manage to get them all in a knot? Before I go grab more jewelry, I'm going to show you guys what I have going on. I cannot figure these things out and like only my big hoops fit on them. So I've literally only have three earrings on that. Over here I have some bracelets, over here I have some bracelets. These are all my like gold jewelry that I'm taking with me and then I have my silver jewelry down here. This is like my everyday jewelry. Up here I have the rings that I'm bringing with me. I'm still gonna add more. Since I couldn't figure this out, I had to put my earrings and such in these little cubby things and I tried to organize them a little bit and then down here I have some toe rings and then just a bunch of cheap rings that I'm bringing. I just went to grab more jewelry and I straight up found my evil eye bracelet. I've been looking for an evil eye bracelet for so long and then I just randomly found one in all of my stuff. Now I have something to protect me. This thing is literally adorable. Are you joking? Stupid price tag, it literally said that it was $100. Uh-uh. I just found a Hompso one as well. Don't know what's going on. I found all my Midui bracelet wraps. I put on the necklace one that I used to have, and now I'm like really sad because I'm just like remembering every memory that goes along with all this jewelry, and it's just making me so sad. I am done for now with this thing. I It's taken me over an hour and a half. I think it's been like two hours actually that I've been doing this. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here's a little overview. Down here, I ended up putting just some earring packs that I've literally had 
since like seventh grade and I've never worn them. Still can't figure out the stupid earring thing, but there's the rest of it. I don't know exactly why I'm about to tell the internet this, but I am having a really rough time right now. I'm about to cry. I'm not gonna lie. I have to go to work. I'm already dressed for work. I just have some shorts and the shirt on. Time just stresses me out. And I can't stop thinking about all the stuff that I have to pack and all the stuff that I have to do in six days to move to college. And I'm not even gonna see like all my friends before I leave type of deal. Like everything's changing. I'm moving eight hours away from my hometown. I don't know. I'm just really stressed right now. And I just wanted to update y'all and not act like my life is so perfect because it's literally not i have anxiety diagnosed with it i try to deal with it and one of the this day has just been really 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 hard on me and my lovely boyfriend is trying to make me feel better literally just ended that last clip and i'm crying now <laughs> here is an update i had a little breakdown i did and I'm okay with it. I accept it. I did not take my stuff to the UPS store. I did not eat. I just started crying. I got in my car and I went to my boyfriend's house. I stayed there for like an hour. Now I have work. But I feel a little bit better. I don't know. It's just been a really rough time dealing with anxiety. I'm okay though. I just got out of work and as I was on my way home... <clears throat> Did you see the fear in my eyes? Stop. Oh my god, hold on. Well, I was on my way home. My best friend, Mary Ellen, she texted me out of nowhere and she was like, what are you doing after work? And I was like, oh, I'm on my way home. I told her, I was like, meet me at Taco Bell in 15 minutes and we'll eat because I'm leaving literally in a week. So I probably won't, this is probably gonna be like one of my last times I'll ever see her. Not ever, the last time I'll see her in like five months. So I'm not okay. I'm gonna cry my eyes out yet again. More than you know More than lies beneath the surface More than I'll show I need you so Then you know 